every angler has a favorite time to chase fish with a fly. Whether it be during the blossoming spring, the green of summer, the colors of autumn, or during the cleansing white of winter. It merely offers a backdrop to a pursuit that has attached itself to the soul of a fly fisherman. Rod, reel, fly, and fish. Under that log, behind that rock, or deep in the dark blue could live a fish of a lifetime. Oh, he got it! He it. It's in that helpless hope that an angler will march from year to year in a lifetime, hoping the next cast connects dreams and a fish of legend. Welcome to Seasons on the Fly. Hi everybody, welcome to Seasons on the Fly. I'm Greg Heister. Well, you know, we have a lot of spots in our country that we can spend a day with a fly rod in our hand. But who would have thought that in the land of the Razorbacks and the rolling hills of the Ozarks would lie rivers like these? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Seasons on the Fly and welcome to Arkansas's Norfolk River. There's a fish. Oh, he caught one. Man, he clobbered it. The Ozarks, a geologically ancient plateau and a culturally robust area of our country is also great for trout fishing. Sow bugs, scuds, uh, midge larva, uh, and the white in the North Fork, there's a lot of sculpin that they'll eat on, uh, small bait fish. I mean, the biomass in our rivers is incredible. Oh, there's a fish. Oh. God, was that a great take. This is a nice brown. And I, I have to admit, you know, uh, all these years ago and, and throughout all these years of my fishing life, I, I probably never expected to find myself in Arkansas trout fishing. The environment is beautiful. Uh, it, you do kind of feel like you're out in one of our wildernesses uh, in this country. It is, it is a, a very, very beautiful place, the Ozarks. Uh, you know, you read about those, you hear about those in history books and to find ourselves in this environment catching trout is, uh, it's been pretty cool. God, yeah. he swam right up to it. Finally ate one. Perfect. He engulfed it. This range is the highest point between the Appalachian Mountains in the east and the Rocky Mountains in the west and covers an area in Oklahoma, Missouri, and here in Arkansas. We boated up to a shoal, parked it, waded out into the water. And what's a shoal? So a shoal is, uh, I don't know what they call them other places. A riffle. A riffle, okay. Well, shoals cause riffles around here, so, but we call them shoals for whatever reason. Arkansas's most famous fishery, the White River, is an enormous watershed with many tributaries. All right. Got one? Nice. Way to go, John. The Little Red River and the North Fork River have huge populations of rainbow and brown trout. These are huge tailwaters, right? You see the dam up there, you're, you're fishing behind uh, this, and. Regardless of what people think about that experience. Fish. Got one! Fish on! Nice. Without some of these dams in our country, we wouldn't have the trout fishing that we have. I don't care what state you're in. Some of our greatest trout fisheries are under these dams. No different here on the Norfolk River in Arkansas. The biomass that grows and collects sustains these fisheries. Some argue these are the greatest fisheries in our country. It is a very fast river. It's it's kind of a dynamic river, yeah, if you ask me. It's it's not terribly long. Uh, the water level can rise and fall so rapidly. Uh, it can go from uh, like the high water we're seeing today, but it can, um, it, since it's a tailwater controlled by a dam and lake levels, they, may, they have to meet power demand. So if that shuts off in the afternoon, the water may drop out and, you know, you can go from fishing high water that day to wading low water in the same day. So this particular river, I think there, there are some 
gigantic fish in it for sure. Um, and it's beautiful. All enhanced and sustained by hatcheries. Trout are not indigenous here. And there would be no trout in Arkansas if not for the hatchery programs. Fish a better one? Better fish. That was, most of our bigger fish are not stocked. The rainbows, almost all our browns are wild. They, they do not stock any on the little red and they stock very few here on the white in the North Fork. What's it like fishing with heister? Like getting a vasectomy. It was, it, it was pretty fun. So it's, it's not every day you get to fish with a real TV legend. <laughs> When Seasons on the Fly continues, it's all about the kids at Dry Run Creek, the home of Sea Run Cases, and the beauty of the Ozarks. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. To find out the truth about chronic Lyme disease, go to SeasonsOnTheFly.com. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by C.F. Berkheimer, handcrafted rods, one of a kind, one at a time. And by Kane Lana, no angler likes to get cold even when it's wet, and you won't in Cane Lana Wool. And by the Restigouche River Lodge, come fish the land of the giants. And brought to you by Stealthcraft Boats, drift into the 21st century. Don't wait to watch Seasons on the Fly on television. Find our YouTube channel or watch us on Vimeo. And you can now download the Seasons on the Fly app and watch us on Apple TV and Roku. It's Seasons on the Fly on your schedule. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. Don't let the Seasons on the Fly experience end when the show does. Go to SeasonsOnTheFly.com to watch all kinds of video, including fly tying demonstrations, full episodes, and you can support the show by buying a hat or a DVD. Your support is greatly appreciated. And you can follow Seasons on the Fly on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Your support is greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you on the water sometime. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. And by Honda, power when and where you need it. As you can imagine, it's warm in Arkansas. The water is cold, many mornings and evenings are veiled by a mysterious but beautiful fog. The little red river with cypress trees on its banks and trout in its water. A luscious morning to be casting a fly. I'm a streamer guy. I love chucking meat uh, for trout. And you know whether I'm in Montana or Idaho or Washington or Alaska or Utah or now Arkansas, it's all the same. Ooh, there's a fish. Nice. Nice. Good one, too. You know, big flies, articulated flies, flies that push water, create noise, or noise that fish can feel down their lateral spine. And Nice. He's in the net. And yet you get fish come over, and they just absolutely catapult themselves into those hooks. Arkansas is also the home of sea run cases. And John Redout is the vice president for operations. He's moved his family here. We have some of the best fishing in the country as far as catching trout. Um, you could catch a cutty, uh, a rainbow, a brown, and, uh, and a brook trout all in the same water. And Casey Hughes, he guides us like he has many for nearly 20 years. Kind of, hold on. Let's just skip that one. Uh, Casey, we've had a blast with Casey. That's all you got? It's great. It was a great experience. I hope to be able to fish with him some more. There's always banter going on back and forth. He's he's like a character out of Smokey and the Bandit, the way he talks and the way he, uh, he uh, oh, he's, he's, he's a blast to fish with, fishy guy, and obviously you spent a lot of time out here. I don't know, Greg, what, what's the formula on that? Give me a number and I'll tell it to you. Because we edit all this shit, right? Yeah, no, yeah. We, we've been editing since we got here. I figured. Casey, could you undo a couple more buttons? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I guess we pay like yardmen and 
pay for groceries with my with my guide money. All the real ticket items come from the from the wife. But that's very common, I think, in this industry. By the way, I just want everybody to know that Casey told me to find the shallow spot out here. And this is officially the shallow spot. Casey's uh, definitely a character. Uh, when I first met Casey, you know, I was kind of like, I gotta figure this guy out. And then, and then I started understanding what, what he was all about. And he's just got that fantastic dry sense of humor. And you gotta be on the ball. You have to listen to every word to get, to get his comedy. But he's definitely a great guide, uh, smart, smart guy. And Lots of eagles, lots doing? of eagles. A lot of fish here, so there's a lot of eagles. Both John and Casey have been fishing since childhood. Both have vivid memories of those days. It just looked neat and growing up in a town bass fishing and crappie fishing, it was just something different. And I was hyper, it was more active than watching a, a bobber with a worm on the end of it. It's kind of funny because I do a lot of that now. Sea run cases are a spawn of Negrini gun cases, handmade in Italy, forged to protect the fly fisherman's prized possessions. You know, it's a proper hard sided case for travel. And, you know, if it can protect a, you know, five to $10,000 shotgun on air travel, it can, tech, it can protect, you know, $10,000 rods. 100% made in Italy. Um, it's a thermoformed ABS sheet uh, that is um, <clears throat> uh, impact resistant, airline proof for travel. Um, but what's great about it is it's a double wall. So you have your interior shells and your exterior shell, and they're sp specifically uh, sonically welded together for shock absorption. Uh, we have the, uh, the QR, which is a quick release. So it's a push button quick release, gives you hands free use, especially when you travel. Um, but then uh, shortly after that, we went with a little bit longer case. So now you can fit you know, 10 and a half foot nymphing rods from our uh, standard Norfolk, which is kind of you know, funny that we're fishing the Norfolk River and we get paid homage uh, to Arkansas uh, with the Norfolk, with the Norfolk Expedition. Fish on! And it's definitely been an expedition for us out here in, in, in Arkansas fishing. The North Fork of the White River, a tributary, but large enough to get lost on and fish for years. Got it. It's beautiful and it offers an angler a chance to fish under bobbers, throw streamers, or dry flies. Our rivers can take the Pepsi Challenge against the Montana ones. I mean, in my mind, these rivers probably have bigger fish than out there in Montana. When seasons on the fly continues, we chuck meat and the fish respond. And in Arkansas, it's all about the kids and inspiring the next generation. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by the new SOF UV adhesives, industrial grade, tack free, and a complete line of colors, sparkle, and you won't beat the price. Change the way you tie flies. And by CF Berkheimer, Handcrafted rods, one of a kind, and one at a time. And by Tarpon Key Lodge in Belize. Catch a grand slam before breakfast. Hi, I'm Greg Heister. A reminder, please support our sponsors. Without them, this show is impossible. You can do that by going to seasonsonthefly.com, clicking on their logo, and let them know that you support them and that you're part of the team. Thanks for watching Seasons on the Fly. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Kane Lana. No angler likes to get cold even when it's wet, and you won't in Kane Lana wool. And by Sea Run Cases, where every case tells a story and our air travel approved. And by SeasonsOnTheFly.com. Don't let the experience end when the show does. And by the brand new Seasons on the Fly Lodge, the SOF experience continues on Alaska's Quijack River. And brought to you by Stealthcraft Boats, drift into the 21st century. The North Fork River of Arkansas, the trout are eager to please and will chase streamers to their limits. Two colors I go for is chartreuse and white and yellow. Those always get it. I mean, they're the bread and butter. So this is Dry Run Creek. It's one of the most unique trout fisheries we have in the state. Just a short distance from this very spot, Dry Run Creek. 
and it is a reminder of how big the fish can be in the North Fork of that White River. Oh, there's a, there's a nice there's a nice cutthroat right here, right on the bank. You see him? Oh well, this is Dry Run. It's kind of like a local gem here in Arkansas. We have these a small little creek with these um, massive, massive trout. I mean, like 10 plus pound browns and rainbows. It's truly amazing. I mean, it's probably. I mean, it's really the only place in the world where, where there's something like this. What's the biggest fish you've caught out of here? Uh, seven, uh, 15 pounds. 15 pound what? Brown. This is a fish for fun and it's for kids. A place to inspire the next generation. A great place to come and watch fish eat and kids find a new passion. Well, it was created in the late 1980s. The biologist saw the potential it had to be a good resource for youth fishing. Well, seeing the smiles on their face, you know, kept pulling in those big fish. You know, they, they, they just love it and, you know, and I, and I just enjoy it to see them do that. Mostly catching, you know, just like the adrenaline rushing through. It's like when you see that trout running towards your, running towards your fly and you think, well, maybe it's going to eat it, maybe it's not. You know, you, your heart starts pounding. You know, you get nervous, you get antsy. And, you know, as soon as it bites, you're just like, Oh wow, I got it. It's really nice because all the fish are really kind of in one spot. So it's, an, it's a way to learn and it's, it's a way to like catch fish and know how to do it. There's even an opportunity for those that are interested to learn entomology and learn to tie a fly. Makes it look like a head for the bug. That's cool. Why is it important to teach kids to tie flies? Well, it gives them a sense of accomplishment um, when they tie a fly and then use it to catch a fish. What do you think, Coop? It's cool. Yeah, what's cool about it? Uh, uh, it's cool that you can make a fish. And this is one of the most amazing facts about this little spot. We haven't done any exact aging projects on Dry Run Creek, uh, but we have seen in some of our other fisheries, the fish, the fish we collect here range anywhere from four inches up to the low 30 inch range. We've collected the brown trout in here and up in the 30 inch ranges. So those fish in other systems when they're that big, we've seen them be nine, 10, 11 years old. Meaning the North Fork has monsters lurking and plenty of food to grow these guys to mammoth size. We'll wrap up another edition of Seasons on the Fly when we come back. Big old, big old rainbow, big old rainbow. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Dry Fly Distilling, handcrafted spirits made in the Pacific Northwest, and by Wild Alaska Sport Fishing and Cruises. Come find the real Alaska. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Scientific Anglers, Fish the Truth, and by Sea Run Cases, where every case tells a story and our air travel approved. The North Fork of the White River, in the heart of the country, lies these incredible tailwater fisheries. The country's big, the rivers are powerful, and the fish lurk. You might not think about Arkansas when you consider great trout fishing. Time to get it on the radar. These rivers stay cold and offer year-round opportunity. And it's legendary here for its huge brown trout. And if you love to chuck meat, streamers, these rivers are for you. I'm Greg Heister. I'll see you next time on Seasons on the Fly. We dropped in um, up by the dam and started floating down. and and we got hammered with that first big fish. But that's, that second one, that was, that was, definitely, uh, um, that was definitely funny. I mean, I, just the, the, probably the look of defeat on my face because you know, I knew we were getting filmed, but you know, we just didn't get that one last hero shot. And, but it was, it was definitely something to be memorable. <laughs> oh. That was good though. <laughs> it's all right. We got shots of it. Oh yeah, yeah, I almost dumped it in. A couple of times almost dumped it in, trying to save a glove. <laughs> uh, day's kind of winding down, the sun is setting, it's beautiful, there's nobody out here. Uh, the boats are all gone, 
and still casting the streamer again, a big double deceiver and stripping across and actually had a fish jump out of the water, kind of over the fly, missed it. And then about two minutes later, there's a fish hooked into another, just a rosed, colored up, uh, beautiful rainbow trout here out of the Norfolk uh, River in Arkansas. Kind of a great way to end the day, kind of a perfect cat to it all. And uh, man, I can't wait to get back to Arkansas.